Hi, okay, so, uh, we just beat Serena, Serena, Sabrina, and, uh, I made it a team, obviously, although I did put it on the layout, I forgot. Um, anyway, we have Kabutops, I was using before, um, but, uh, well, I wasn't using it for Sabrina, I don't think, but, Liquidation, Rock Slide, Aqua Jet, and Night Slash, we're actually doing a rain team, uh, it has Swift Swim, it has a really cool other ability, oh, you know what I forgot to do, I forgot to max everything's IVs, so I think I'm gonna go do that before I move on, but, um, yeah, rain team, because I have a Politoed, and I also have a Kingdra, um, I mean, rain's not amazing for my, uh, team necessarily, but, like, I mean, for the Pokemon I have left necessarily, because I, I have two other weathers that I'm not using right now because I'm using rain. I took Tyranitar off, even though Tyranitar is my best Pokemon right now. Actually, that might be, uh, no, I mean, they're both pretty good. No, I, was, yeah, I, was, I was gonna say that might be Sceptile, but... Um, we took Tyranitar off, and we also have a Vulpix, so we have three, like, weather Pokemon, uh, but I don't want to use Sun, because I have a bunch of water types. I could be using this Lapras right now, but I wanted to go with a little bit more team diversity, so I put Zev Strika on instead. Um, which is fine, I'm not doing special Zev Strika, so it's not like I'm doing Thunder or anything, it's just there. Uh, although I need it to be Lightning Rod, so it can be my electric switch in. Um, is it? It's Flare Boost. Okay, let me change that. I also didn't change their abilities. I forgot to do a lot of stuff, actually. I just leveled them up and did the EV training and moves. So, um, anyway. Uh, I added, what's it called, Power Up Punch and Rock Tomb to Sceptile, because, you know, they're both boosted by Technician, and it's pretty good. Sceptile's base speed is like 140, so with Power Up Punch, if we can ever get an attack boost, we'll usually always be faster anyway. It could also learn Dragon Dance. Um, I was thinking of maybe teaching it Swords Dance, because that's better than Power Up Punch in a lot of scenarios, but for now I just decided to run Power Up Punch for the coverage, and because I like free attack boosts. Uh, I gave this thing back Psy Shock. I should have kept it last time, but I didn't know Sabrina would have a bunch of non-psychic types. And then, uh, this thing has Zippy Zap, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, because it's a really good move, and it always crits, so it's a really, really strong uh, priority move. I also have Wild Charge, which isn't as good as Zippy Zap. I mean, it's stronger, but, like, it, it also is a 90 power move that recoils, so it's not, like, a great move, but whatever. We also have this Swift Swim Kingdra, pretty self-explanatory, with decent moves. And then, um, uh, the Politoed with Weather Ball, Ice Beam, Flip Turn. Parish Song to deal with any problems, because Parish Song is always useful. Um, anyway, let me go back to changing everything's natures, and also I need to get some money so that I can max everything's IVs. So, I will be right back. Okay, we're good for real this time. I gave Zeb Strike a Lightning Rod. I could give it Zap, uh, Sap Sipper as well, um, to protect from grass types, obviously. Um, but I thought Lightning Rod would be better because it works in doubles. Although Sap Sipper is better because it gives is better for Zeb Strika because it gives it a special attack. I mean an attack boost. But I wanted to give it um, Lightning Rod in case we get into any double battles. It can protect its teammates with Lightning Rod. Um, I'll, I'll just switch it around to whatever I fit, whatever I need. Um, for now, I'm just gonna do Lightning Rod so I can easily switch into it. Um, so now, I just need to figure out where I want to go. We actually could fight a whole bunch of rematches of gym leaders. But with the amount of Pokemon I have left, I don't think that's a good idea. There is one thing that I was thinking about doing, genuinely. Um, so back in Saffron City, <laughs> that trainer that I lost to, the one with the uh, Frostmoth and the two Swamperts, uh, this girl, or this kid, I don't know, yeah, this kid, um, gives you a Mudkip if you beat them, and, uh, that would be really good for my current team with, when I'm just Swift Swim, right? Uh, so I think doing that might actually be a good idea, because I can get the Swampertite the same way I got the, uh, the Sceptileite. So that could be pretty decent, and Sceptile could probably beat all of their Pokémon. So I can just Rock Tomb the Frostmoth, and then I can Bullet Seed both of the Pellet, or both of the, um, the Swamperts. What else did they have? Uh, Scizor. Uh, I don't know how I would deal with Scizor. I guess I could Flare Blitz it. Just swap in. Because, I mean, yeah, I guess I could just switch into a Scizor and then 
just kill it with Flare Blitz, right? That'd be faster. Um, yeah, that could work. I might try that. But, that's kind of risky. And if I get Swampert, what would I take off? Probably Sceptile, since it would ha I would have two Megas. And then I'd have four Water Types, but I would have my uh, Electric... I would have an Electric Resist in Swampert, and then I could just have Lightning. I mean, have a Sap for this. So that could be a really good team. I, I just... You know, actually, I should do that, because we're going to go fight Koga, and having a ground type against Koga would be really nice. So, I do think that fighting the Swampert girl is smart, but also, I wanted to talk to her, because she needed some ingredients, and two milks of raspberry and a pear berry, which I think I have now. And she gives me the Alcremite. I don't have an Alcremie, but, you know. Cool. I do like Alcremie, and we get the Metrodome, which is useful. So before I the uh, oh I didn't change the layout still but I'll do that in a second. Um, before I go to uh, fight her because I do want to get Swampert, I want to fight one of the uh, one of these raid dens because I need to get an encounter. Since I beat Sabrina, I get another free raid den encounter. I also didn't change my badges. There's a lot of stuff I keep forgetting to do. Five. There we go. Uh, if there's any raid dens around here that'll let me do them, then I can count that as an encounter. Uh, that raid den was empty because I haven't fixed the clock issue. I had a clock issue um, when I reloaded my computer, so I, I need to fix that so that it's actually resetting the dens. But if I just go to a new one, I don't think I've gone this one up here. If this is something new, then I'll just count it as my raid den. Are they all empty? They're probably all empty. So. <laughs> okay, it looks like I need to fix the clock issue now. So I'll fix that, and then I will prepare to fight the Swampert Trainer. Hopefully I won't regret this. Why am I saving? Anyway. Oh wait, no, that's why I'm saving. I need to close my game. <laughs> Be right back. <laughs> okay, I uh, can't seem to figure out how to turn the real-time clock back on. I don't remember what my solution was last time, so I'm a bit annoyed. Uh, looks like, that since the time is broken, it reset all of time-based events. Including these dens, so even the ones that I haven't been to, like this one here in Mountain Moon, uh, are all empty, which is kind of annoying. So, I guess we're just going to head back and do what I was going to do before, which is fight that Mudkip girl. Okay, so, I guess we're just going to go fight her. I went and switched one of Deeds' moves. I switched it to uh, Dragon Dance over Power Up Punch because they use Swift Swim Swampert. So, just in case she sends out Pelipper, or I guess if I send out my water type and it starts raining, Holly Toad, um, I'll be faster than it. I need to Dragon Dance. Actually, I probably only need to Dragon Dance once, but I'm gonna try to get two Drag. Oh, yeah, I should probably. I probably should just calc it to make sure. Whatever. We're, I, I'm, I'm gonna Dragon Dance twice to make sure I'm faster than Swift Swim Swampert. And, um, that should be it, because she leads with Swampert, so we should get one free Dragon Dance off at least. Um... No, I don't like my gifts. No. So, I think this should be fine. Uh, but what if... I guess it could be a problem if... This Swampert has Ice Punch, but I don't think it does. I'm pretty sure this one has Stealth Rock and then like regular moves. The other one definitely has Ice Punch. Um, I feel like I should just Dragon Dance. Yeah, let's just Dragon Dance. Oh, they switch. Into Scizor. Okay, we need to switch. Um, I can't kill this with anything. And if he X Scissors, I kind of die. So let's get out of here. We, this should be a free switch into Zeb Striker, and Zeb Striker is faster, so we can just Flare Blitz this thing off the planet. Hopefully, she doesn't switch. Bullet Punch. We... It's Swords Dance, but we should live, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's plenty enough, especially with the Citrus Berry. And if it does survive, we have Zippy Zap.
Now, she's probably gonna go into Swampert. I can tell which Swampert it is by the level. The higher level one is the, um, the Mega, I think. That is not the higher level one. Okay. He's just gonna Earthquake me, right? I guess we can just go into... Yeah, this is the only switch I'm gonna have for Earthquake anyway. I wish I had mega when I Dragon Danced before. But I didn't Mega- oh, he's Stealth Rock. I didn't Mega because I thought he might have Ice Punch, <laughs> and I'm only- wait, no, I'm already a Dragon-type. Am I dumb? I think I'm Dragon already. I- yeah, I'm already Dragon. Okay, I should have mega I was going to not Mega because I would take slightly less damage from Ice Punch, but now it didn't matter, and uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, Dragon Dance it is. Please don't have Ice Punch. I don't think it did. If it did have Ice Punch, he would have just hit me with it instead of swapping immediately, right? As long as he doesn't have, like, Rock Tomb and lower my speed, then that would ruin my strategy. No, just Earthquake. Okay. That's fine. How much does this do? A crit might kill me, but I think I need to get another Dragon Dance up. Just to make sure we're faster than the Swift Swim. Don't, don't crit me. This isn't really something I should be risking. Okay, yeah. A crit, mi I might have lived a crit. Anyway, Bullet Seed is 100. A oh, Rindo Berry? Okay, that's not gonna save you. Good try, though. I think it's 100 accuracy, right? Unfortunately, we have to switch to Rock Tomb when Frost Moth comes out, uh, which has a chance to miss, so just don't miss. I don't even think I need to Rock Tomb this. I think I can just keep Bullet Seeding. I can probably Bullet Seed Frost Moth, to be honest, but I'm gonna Rock Tomb just to be safe, because if it lives, I'm not gonna be in for a good time. That was neutral, so I think it would probably be like a three shot with bullet seed but i'd have to get three or frost moth wouldn't die so it's safer for me to just rock tomb i think the chance for it to die to rock tomb is higher than bullet seed anyway because like of the way of the chance of getting two hits versus other hits versus a 90 percent chance of finding rock tomb maybe yeah okay Alright, I think we win. The rest of their Pokemon just died of Bullet Seed. Is there Swampert left? What's the last thing? Did I, I don't see- oh, Seeking. Okay, yeah, this is also Swift Swim, but it's also dead. Got to one Bullet Seed. I wish the battle went this way last time instead of me wiping. Unless you have Aqua Jet. I don't think it gets Aqua Jet. Okay, yeah, no, it's very good. Cool. Free Mud Kit. Ugh. I don't think I'm going to put it on the team right now. I mean, I should, but I'm not going to. Because I, I want to use the Sceptile and I like it a lot. And Plus, I don't think it's the biggest deal. Um, and I, we can go... We can put it on the team for when we fight Koga. But I think we have a little bit before that. Thank you. Anything else? Oh well, that's still pretty worth it. Okay, so now back to the tasks at hand. Actually, before we get back to the tasks at hand, should I do something stupid? I could go fight Brock. Since I have... <laughs> but I don't know anything about Brock, so I don't think it'd be a good idea to just run into Brock with this Sceptile and expect it to work. Um, <laughs> That's a bad idea, let's not do that. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna check what he gives me, because if it's tantalizing enough to go check, then, uh, let's, let's see. So, Brock gives me the Aerodactylite and Stone Edge. Too bad my Aerodactyl is dead. That is unfortunate. Uh, Misty gives me the Gyaradosite, and doesn't look like an item. Uh, Surge, let's see, gives me Volts, oh no, sorry, he didn't give me Volts, but he gives me Manectite and the Light Clay. Uh, Erica gives me... Oh, whoops. 
I don't think there is a... Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. She gives me Grass Knot. Um, oh, there's a bunch of Mega Ring battles I can go do. Let me check the rewards for those two. Uh, who else? Uh, Sabrina's the last one I thought. I don't... What's Sabrina's rematch? Sabrina... Gives me the Galadite. Oh, no, no, no. Chuck gives me the Galadite. And a Focus Sash. Oh, a Focus Sash would be amazing, because that's a renewable item. From Chuck, after defeating him and showing him... Wait, do I have the Focus Sash? Showing him a Pokemon with at least 150 EVs in an attack. I don't know if that's defeat him again. I might just be able to go grab that. I think. Let's check. But, um, I'm going to save, because if he does just battle me, then that would be a huge problem. I don't want to battle him right now. I just need to make sure it's what he says it is. So, Chuck, I see you have your own Mega Ring. Show me a Pokemon you've invested in attack. I might give you a Galadite. Oh. Okay, yeah, that's all I needed to do. <laughs> Perfect. I mean, Focus Sash is very, very good in this game, so I need to make sure I don't lose it against the wild Pokemon, because that would be worst-case scenario. Alright, cool. Uh, what else can we get? Let me look up Mega Ring, because there's a bunch of Mega Ring battles that I can go back and do now, uh, but I don't know if I'm going to. I can get the Rocky Helmet and the Centiscorch I on Route 8 an ace trainer after defeating him so i assume that they use megas and he's probably gonna have a mega scent scorch uh which i guess would be fine because i have a rain team so that doesn't sound like a too big a deal i hope but i don't know if they'll be type themed so that might not be the safest thing to do but i do kind of want the rock climbing. i can get brave bird in celadon and the flapple knight and the apple tonight i think that's it for now Yeah, for now, that's it. I believe. Yeah. Is it worth risking my life for the Rocky Helmet? I don't think so. Not right now, at least. I'll go back for that later. Um, if my Senta Scorch was alive, I'd go do it. I wish it was, because I wanted to use Mega Senta Scorch. But for now, we're just going to move on uh, and actually progress this time. So, which way are we going? I guess we can... Cycling road, or should we just go this way? Um, let's go this way. I like this one more. We'll go from Lavender Town. But where do we get Surf? Well, we get Surf in Fuchsia. Let's go Cycling Roadway. Because Cycling Roadway has less like stuff to go back to. And then after I get Surf, I'll go this way. I think that's what I want to do. So, we'll, we'll go cycling road. <clears throat> I think that's the best path anyway. I mean, it's the easiest one, because I, I I actually don't like that route over there. Did I heal? I did, right? don't really want to fight you guys. Oh, guess there's no choice. <laughs> Great. Not very strong. Speaking of Cycling Road, we can get an encounter here on Route 17, and there's also this. Heat Crash. Um, I don't know why I'm checking, because I don't actually care. I mean, I care a little bit, that's... But nothing! I don't need this move, but I'm curious to see if anything can learn it. Which one is 114? What a surprise. Okay, anyway, let's get our encounter. Please be something useful, because I don't have many things left. Okay, you can go away. Wait, is this where I got this? No, 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 no. I got this from a raid then. Did I already get something on Route 17? Because I... I could come to Cycling Road before this, right? I'm pretty sure I did. Alright, let's go back and check. 
Uh, I'll go check, just to make sure. Good news, I didn't. Okay, let's get our encounter for real this time. You don't look at me. Thank you. Can I get not this, please? I already have one. Torkoal? Oh god. Okay, I mean, sure, we we're building our sun team to replace the rain team. Although it's- this is actually bad, because I already have a Drought Setter. I have Vulpix, so I don't need this, but, you know, whatever. Um... Quick ball. Wonderful. At least it cooperated. Alright, let's get off second road. There's an item here. It is the Absolite. Don't have an Absol, but sure, thanks. Alright, Route 18. Um... Wait, does this area count? Does this count as Route 18? Or is this a different route? I think this is Route 19. No, this is still Route 18. Okay. That's an encounter then in the grass. I guess I could fish, but I have, think I have plenty of water types. Especially since, like, half of Pokemon I have left are water types. You want Dedenne for more Pico. I like both Dedenne and more Pico, but I think I'd rather have... I mean, actually, I like them both a lot. Aura Wheel with Choice Band is really fun to use. Oh, there's another Megastone. Oh, great. Why must you do this? It was the Altaria Knight. Anyway, let's get our encounter, and it is a Oricorio. That's not bad. Especially since I can change its type to suit my needs. Let's not Zippy Zap it. Uh, Oricorio is actually pretty good, too. And I like its ability a lot. I mean, it, Dancer doesn't come in handy that much, but, I mean, like, being able to switch into something that I know is going to click Quiver Dance is kind of broken. So, if I can use it properly, it'll be really good. What do I name you? Um... Raven. It's not a raven, but, you know, whatever. Okay. Fuchsia City. Which is another encounter. I don't think there's any grass here. I'll check before I fish, but... We have a bunch of people to talk to. And we can also do the Safari Zone, which is, uh, annoying. <laughs> I hate doing the Safari Zone. Whoa, oh, Earth Power. Okay, thanks. Uh, nothing can learn it, but sure. I should probably remember that. Do you have anything for me? <sighs> Wait, what is that? Try to get the farthest corner of the Safari Zone. If you can make it, you'll get a convenient prize. I think that's just talking about Surf. I, I don't think that's changed dialogue. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all default dialogue. Okay. Is this Nurse usually here? I guess so. This guy's just weird. And he gives me substitute. Okay, he's weird for, by the ROM hack. That's not default dialogue. <laughs> XP, yeah. Anybody else want to give me something useful? Alright, I'm not gonna fight Koga right away. I I think can we even fight Koga right now? I think we have to do the Safari Zone first. Hello. Yeah, okay. 
And then we can get strength and surf, and we can finally make some actual progress. What do we need to use strength? We can use surf by Koga, right? Uh, super rod. What do we need for strength? Can we just use strength right off the bat? I think so. Because we need strength to get surf out of there, and we get surf from Koga. I guess we can just already use strength. That was probably from Sabrina. And let's fish here while we're here. What can we get? Give me something with Swift Swim, or nothing at all. Um, that's not bad. Honestly, I should probably grab this. It's a bit greedy of me to not grab this, but I... I don't like getting duplicates of Pokemon, and I usually would only get a dupe if I have to. And I don't like forcing my dupes, especially if it's something common like Gyarados, where I can just have a billion of them. <laughs> so even if there's something like Sea King in here, I'd, I'll take that over Gyarados. It's just... I probably should just take Gyarados. God, stay in the water. Why do you take the rod out? I hate fishing so much. So dumb. <laughs> I don't think switching the tiles matters, but... Thank you. Not Gyarados. Seeking. Hey, how did I know it was gonna be here? I don't think I've already had a Goldeen. I don't think I would've used Goldeen to the point where it would've died, so whatever. Seeking it is. Wonderful. Kakoi. That is something that gets Swift Swim. It also gets Lightning Rod, so it's actually decent on water teams. Um, and I'm sure that they've buffed Sea King. Actually, let's find out. Uh, let me go to the Pokedex. Sea King. Oh no, it doesn't get um, Swift Swim. It's Water Veil and Rain Dish. But Lightning Rod is still pretty good. Uh, actually, I don't know if they buffed it. Stats are kind of fucking garbage. Is this better than normal? <laughs> Hold on, <laughs> let me check. Seeking. Seeking's normal, um, base stat total is... 450. They did not buff Seeking? What? Did he really not buff Seeking? I actually am kind of in disbelief. I'm on the right program, right? Yeah. Okay, um, I guess I should have taken Gyarados. What the hell? Why is Seeking not buffed? Seeking is like the worst Pokemon in existence. <laughs> Why did he not buff Seeking? Okay, that's really strange. Uh, that's really strange. I guess we're not going to be using it. I mean, it's still not that bad. It, it is good to have something with Lightning Rod, but I already have stuff. So you guys don't need to be here. Oops. The difference, I don't know. But either way, you guys aren't supposed to be in the dead box. It was holding a purple nectar. I think I can just go buy the nectar, so I don't think that matters, but cool. I could make the psychic Oricorio for the gym, which could be kind of useful, but I don't feel like I need it. I mean, honestly, rain with um, this thing is probably enough. Although, maybe I'll take. I don't know, um, either Kingdra or Zeb Strike off for it, that's probably okay. I guess Tyranitar would be okay there too. Nah, well, we'll think about it a bit, a bit later. Anyway, I'm gonna end this episode, and I guess we're going to the Safari Zone next time. Okay, uh, bye.